All right, guys. So I'm here with Sharif, who's studying in civil engineering in Dresden University here. TU nine. It's one of the universities in TU nine. How do you feel like? Let's let's be, before I actually give you a background of Sharif. How does it feel like to study in one of the prestigious universities in the world? So to be frank, I, I will be honest with my answer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, usually, first I have been tried with the gate exam, like I okay. gave in India, and I got some ten thousand rank and. I didn't get my MS in IIT Madras like I was trying because I live near Madras, mm -hmm. so I failed there, and I thought okay I want to pursue in selected things like in a good standard at least my masters. Mm -hmm. Then I got opportunity into you, like when I tried with my work experience, and I gave a good SOP matters and because right. I was grown with grown up in the atmosphere of research like ISRO, so Indian Space Research Organization where. My father is an employee, and my brother is also an employee. Right. And I worked there for like one year, and I did my internship, and it was a keen interest. Okay, let me choose out of my boundaries also and try. And right. I thought I will never get it, to be frank, but luckily I got it. All right. Great. I'm going to talk the specifics of that now. How about you give your background of what kind of bachelor's you have done? If you don't mind, you can also share. If that's not too uncomfortable question. Also, uh, yeah, let's begin with that. Just a background and where you come from and then what kind of bachelor's you did. Yeah, I'm from yes, Andhra Pradesh and I did in civil engineering bachelor's. Okay. And like, as I said, like when I failed the opportunity in getting in India due to heavy competition and one of my friend first came to Germany. Okay. And since he suggested me, my profile is far more better than him and he was suggesting and insisting me. Mm -hmm. Hey man, why you are crazy about always in India and IIT right. and think of other things too and of course I'm not so crazy of certain things like I want to do in IIT or NIT or something I want to improve myself that was my inner motive because I felt in bachelor's I learned only few things and I was not excelling but when I went for symposiums in India like I went for IIT Bombay, IIT Bhavaneshwar, IIT Roorkee and NIT Suratkal it gave me an exposure okay these are many facilities actually the IITs and NIT gives you facilities mm -hmm. and it's not the main thing I feel like right. so facilities make you to think broader right. so I want to utilize those things so that was the thing then I tried with my friend uh, because I was keen okay let me do in a specific thing then I applied only two applications to you Munich and to you Resident if okay. I get inside this then I'll go in or I'll no need wow that's very optimistic of you I think now the question which a lot of people would be interested to know is what was your profile like so when you applied and what were the documents required? What did you do from day one till until you came back? Yeah, you? since I was uh, doing my internship, like it is called graduate apprentice in ISO. In design, I am a designer, like I was doing designs and uh, at that time I used to get some time in the evening. So I used to chalk out what I want to do. Right. And it's like a procedure where it's, it's, I can say... It, as an employee, it's uh, difficult to balance. So I, I, I took a help of my friend and a consultant. Mm -hmm. And consultant, in sense, he's also a friend of mine. So he suggests me what to do. Right. So it was very easy for me, and I was not referring anyone else. Like just I, I, I was keen. Okay, I am in, interested in designing field. So let me choose the design. I have chalked down the what is the important design courses are there. Mm -hmm. So it's a very few. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I and my profile, like I got just. A normal grade I am not so like good scorer but I got 78 percent okay and the SOP matters like statement of purpose matters actually like why you want to pursue that course in that university got it so I, I narrated with the way why I, I choose that course and later on I applied like uni assist like some every university has the specific things like you have to go through you have to get the procedure and you have to understand it so I was very keen with two universities I was very simple so that I got the two universities noted down what to do and you have to give ILTS exam okay and it was like I have to apply through uni assist for a two resident yeah uh, so I applied through uni assist and for Munich I, I remember I am so it's two end of year back so I think for Munich I applied direct so they reply you whether you are selected or rejected right so it's like a step process like like paying some GD for uh, uni assist and and posting it and right. you wait for the reply and opening the bank account blocked bank account right so these are normal steps like we go through 
Right, right. So if you're wondering about UniAssist process, I'm going to link the video in the description step by step explaining how to file application uh, through UniAssist. Also, he spoke about blocked account. There is a video in the description. No need to hesitate when you are filing your application. My next question to you is, you did civil engineering in India and now you're doing civil engineering here in Germany. Yeah. I'm definitely sure you see the balance, yeah, the difference yeah. between what you studied versus what you're going to study now. Yeah. Can you just talk a bit more specific about subjects, courses and what kind of uh, s development it is doing to your brain and your overall personality? Yeah. Uh, before coming here, I have a perspective that it's in a design course. I, I used to learn some uh, specific designs like like it structured things or like different way. After coming here, I realized it that it's it's completely different. It was a little bit shocking, and I realized it later when I started my project. The way they have structured everything, right. it has been very keen with research. Mm -hmm. And yeah, of course you can go for a practical field also. It's not that you you'll be in educational academic side doing postdoc or PhD. Mm -hmm. So there is an interlink. To understand that, it takes time. So don't get confused that okay, this course is not for my sake or it's not my cup of tea. Right. So you you have got now FEM in the first like modules like FEM and numerical methods, building materials. Mm -hmm. uh, so numeric like these four main subjects. Okay. So you continuum mechanics. Yeah. While I was studying continuum mechanics, I thought what the hell, man? Why am why I'm <laughs> reading this? But I found out that it helps you later a, a lot. Right. Like while in the first semester, I thought <laughs> it's like different. Do you regret that not studying in first semester? Yeah, yeah I was because not. Because you're doing project now. Yeah, I completely regret now because <laughs> I, I studied in a different way. But it helps you a lot in, in another sense when I'm doing the project, I realized it. Right. So like usually if you do a calculation for three pages in mathematics, if you know continuum mechanics, it reduces your burden. You right. can resolve it in half the page. <laughs> so it's, and my project initially was like in 3D printing, right? In concrete, and it was very keen, interesting because it's upcoming technology that's in concrete. So these things comes to existence very later stage. Like it right. takes time. Yeah, yeah. But being part of it makes you happy. Great. We spoke about how do you feel like studying in a prestigious university. We spoke about what was the process like. Uh, we also got to know that you only applied for two universities. Yeah. Uh, you were very optimistic. Otherwise, we will file at least like 5, 10, 15. No, that's what like I feel yeah. at the point of time, you have to decide something for yourself. Of course, in Indian style, we depend on family. Many circumstances come in decision making in education. Yeah. At that moment, I thought, okay, let me be specific with what I want. Yeah. And to be frank, I don't want to be in this field. But my career safety, my father said, choose something. In that also, I want to be specific. Okay, mm -hmm. I want to learn this. Okay. So Germany taught me that nothing is prestigious. Mm -hmm. To be frank, like here, that's the beauty that, like you treat equally from even from uh, there is no difference in like you can't call him is like a driver or like right so the lowest so job till the till highest job. profile job no differences are there yeah so right. I know I, I, I cannot differentiate that it's a to you is a uh, like extraordinary or applied science is normal no everything like exactly. since the standard is same I want to do notice on my point what I'm about to say and yeah. give your comment on it in my point of view, here in Germany, I know a lot of universities are given their rankings and categorization. They are known for like, oh, this is best, this is this. In my view, when you go to employer here, they don't even ask you for that. Yeah, yeah. They really ask you, okay, what did you do? Bachelor's, master's, okay, in what? Okay, fine. So they, usually in India, um, I have seen that uh, the whole discussion is starts on on the you know it, it is all predicated on where did you study yeah right or oh, you're from i am the weightage goes high like yeah. oh my god yeah. or oh, you studied in one of the local colleges mm, we'll see do you think is that true or no, am i wrong no, to be frank that doesn't matter a lot of course it's like an entry mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter a lot for example uh in my university itself, for applying projects or thesis, grades also matters. Like they see, okay, how is your academic performance? Are you able to withstand with this or not? Right. There are few few professors and few PhD scholars like who gives you not by seeing your 
grade or something right they 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 see your enthusiasm and passion you are able or capable to do or right. if you are not capable they make you capable <laughs> so that's so, the point yeah so yeah. It, you may take little bit time but it's it doesn't matter yeah so never think that you are a uh, certain degree or certain th- place can make you differ like have self confidence that definitely it will work but it may take time that's all my next question is in civil engineering to get a job do you need german definitely because as i have planned pre planned for not working here so i am not keen in learning the language okay. but all of my friends like where who learn german are getting very fast jobs of course communication is very important in civil engineering so it's not that you have to write a letter or something so professional but at least you have to communicate like right. if you are able to communicate you should not learn, like i won't say that you have to learn up to c1 or b1 if you are able to communicate with the people and make them understand what you want mm-hmm. then, then it will be helpful for the job definitely for part time jobs also it helps you a lot right. yeah, language plays a crucial role okay. of course uh, english also you are getting part time jobs but not as more opportunities as you got for job. right it opens the doors right many yeah, yeah. doors open for you and you know opportunities are waiting for you to hug yeah right? yeah like that okay let's move on to the next question now so sharif i'm going to ask you last question what do you think of job opportunities what kind of job can i expect or do i have to struggle for getting a job after doing civil engineering in germany so in my view i can share a few experience why how how i observe with my friends uh like experience matters like of course if you don't have experience you are you are skillful that definitely makes you to hire no one can guarantee you something that you are safe here or like if you do this course you are capable of getting a job job so it's all about like it's selling yourself mm-hmm. so how you are confident and even though you don't know the job or the task which has been given you if a pretty confident in convince him that okay i will learn and i will do right that impresses him the way you portray yourself and the skill matters a lot mm-hmm. it's not the other things which combine it's not grade also like grade is just an that uh, the academic marks you it's just an entry right so it's all about your skill so depend on that and language is i feel for civil engineering it's it's good and it's most important to got it all right guys so that's all for civil engineering and um, thanks a lot first of all yeah thank you and um, we also showed you campus today this morning yeah yeah and uh, yeah i would like to end this video here and if you enjoyed it hit that thumbs up button i'll see you guys next time peace out